So I found this recipe book in my house and I thought that maybe I should try and make a recipe out of it. I decided to make these cheese straws. This recipe calls for butter, salt, uh, ground red pepper, sh cheddar cheese, and self-rising flour. You will need a mixer, a bowl, oven mitts, tongs, measuring spoons, various utensils, measuring cups, a recipe, butter, salt, ground red pepper, cheddar cheese, and flour. Also, if you didn't have self-rising flour, I didn't either, so I looked up a recipe on how to make that. So here it is. All you need is flour, salt, and baking powder. Alright, so the original cheese straw recipe calls for two cups of flour, but I'm making a half recipe, so I'm only going to need one cup of flour. Now I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of salt, and I had a little trouble with the salt container. Okay, finally I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and then I'm going to mix it all together. Since I'm only making a half recipe, I'm only going to add half a stick of butter. And then I'm going to do a little dash of salt and ground red pepper. And then mix it all together. Alright, now it's time for the cheese. So I'm going to add a cup of cheese. Normally you do two cups, but since this is a half recipe, I'm only doing one. Now it's time to add the flour. You want to add it in gradually and then mix it. Okay, at this point it's starting to not look like dough anymore. I don't think there's enough liquid in here. I'm going to try and mix it with my hands and then I'm going to add some water if it needs some. It turns out that I actually did need to add more water, so I got some and I added it until I could make it look a little more like dough. The recipe says to form the dough into a ball with your hands, so here is my finished dough ball. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I tried to split my dough into 12 even pieces and then I'm going to try and imitate the picture of the on the recipe and it's kind of different shapes. You can just do them as round biscuits because it takes a long time to do this. All right, these cheese biscuits are going to go in the oven, and then I'm going to set the microwave timer for 12 minutes. Your finished cheese biscuits should just be a little bit like toasty brown on the top or maybe the bottom. And you don't want to overcook them, but you don't want them to still be raw. 